Hello everyone, Russ of Aquarimax Pets here with some Armadillidium maculatum zebra yellow. As you can see, many of the individuals in here have yellow to yellowish coloration. There's some more of them. I have been separating out individuals from a bin. Let me show you what I'm working with here. I have two bins, one on the left here having uh, more individuals with higher yellow coloration and more consistent striping. And then on the left here were individuals that I culled out, um, many of which have some yellow on them, but the yellow might be with, uh, they're more broken stripes, or almost spots. Some of them are pretty close to being spotted rather than striped. And some of them have some other interesting things going on. Let's see if we can find a few of those individuals here. Like there's an individual right here, which seems to have a lighty, lighter body color. Or if I can move, here's one. You can see right here that has an almost transparent look to it with uh, a lot of reduced uh, dark patterning on it. There's another one that's kind of a high white individual as well. There's a few like that. And so I'm, I'm trying to separate these out. I do find it a bit challenging because I am color deficient, so I have to rely upon some assistance. But in general, the ones in here may be yellow, but if they're yellow, they tend to have some uh, significant breakage in their stripes, or they may not be very yellow. Or they may not be yellow at all. And uh, that's, that's what I was trying to kind of reduce in the population there. But these are all going to go into my miscellaneous zebra bin. So uh, those will be available on the website as uh, just my, my zebra. I'm not sure if I'm going to call them, what exactly I'm going to call them, probably mixed zebras or something like that. Because there's quite a bit of variety there. As opposed to these here many of which are of a stronger yellow, tend to have more solid, clean uh, striping, which is what I'm looking for. I'm trying to uh, get stock that looks more like that. So uh, more of the individuals in this bin are more like that. Because the original zebras that I worked with uh, had a lot of yellow, but they tended to be broken uh, stripes, tend to have broken stripes. And I'm, I'm trying to work on getting individuals that are, uh, like I said, more clean striped. So just kind of a short one today. I'm about to release these into their newly uh, refurnished home. I think this is kind of cool. Uh, Laura from BioLives Bioactives uh, just sent a shipment of substrate and sent this along with it, a sea urchin uh, skeleton, uh, with the suggestion you put some of the damp moss in it and then set it on the hydration station. And the isopods can use that as kind of a little hide on the moist end and this is not prone to mold because of what it's constructed of, calcium carbonate. So pretty interesting idea, and I'm looking forward to trying that. So thank you for watching. I post videos every Friday with live streams on Wednesdays, all on aquarium and vivarium pets. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, then tap the bell for all notifications so you don't miss my next video.